Wapow. This is gonna be a little creation that I'm gonna put together because I was craving like a wine cooler or something that tasted like, sort of like strawberry farm from Boone's. Remember Boone's Farm? Strawberry, whatever. Everybody. Strawberry Hill. I like that, but whatever. I'm a grown up now, so <laughs> yeah, as I say, I'm a grown up. Uh, let me introduce you to my gallon jug of Carlo Rossi. I have some of this left over from when I made mulled wine. And my mom years ago, and I think maybe still does, makes her homemade wine cooler. Well, I don't have the exact ingredients, so this is my spinoff on this homemade wine cooler. First of all, this gallon jug is, you know, pretty great deal, and you can do a lot of stuff with it. Like I said, I made mulled wine with it once. So today, because I want to make Jan and I a wine cooler for the second half of this 49ers Eagles game, I'm going to go ahead and fill it most of the way, well, at least three quarters of the way up. Look at, I'm just going to use the markers on the glass because, you know, I don't measure anything for those of you that know me. Um, so it's not exact every time. It's kind of like some breweries and their inconsistency of beer. Oh yeah, but anyway, so one thing I will make sure that's consistent is my one shot of uh, Deep Eddie's Orange Vodka. Why am I using this? Because somebody left it here. And actually I know who that somebody is. Andrea, hey, thanks, shout out to you. We're gonna attempt to use this and add just a little bit of kick to our afternoon wine cooler since the Eagles currently are beating the 49ers and that's not what we really wanted to have happen. Although we have much love and praise for Jalen Hurts. I usually use Sprite Zero or Fresca. Um, anyway, so all we have is Sprite. Just gonna top it off with a little bit of Sprite. I was going to use these maraschino cherries, but I'm like, does every drink have to have a maraschino cherry? No, it really doesn't. But one thing this drink does have to have is two slices of orange that are squeezed into it. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut this edge off, but I'm saving it because I like to use the edges later for a orange zest if I make a what? Old fashioned. Correct. Okay. So just right on the top and do I put it on the side no and look at how I just ran out of room so it's going on inside that drink once Jan takes a sip of it and here's the second one and that's my take on a this is what we have at the house and I would like a wine cooler without going anywhere <laughs> 